You don't have a breed unless you have the proper body for that breed. I don't care if it's marked or an all-white rabbit. You got to have the body type before you have anything. You could have the best marked Dutch in the world. This animal could be perfectly marked, but if it doesn't have the body of a Dutch, you got nothing. If I don't leave you with anything today from this session, remember that. You've got to put the body type for a Florida White, a New Zealand, an Angora, a Dutch. You've got to have the body there or you have nothing. You've got to look at the total animal, of course. You know, and I'm heavy on body. It's got to have the proper body. When I'm judging a class, especially like in Dutch, you know, I'll weed, weed them down pretty quick just on body. Now, of course, when you get down to the better animals, you've got to look at other things. You've got to look at whether the markings, you know, and you find faults in the markings, like if the cheek markings are unbalanced or the saddle's not square or the stops like this one here. The points gives you, a, gives you an idea of what's more important than another, then you, you have to look at the overall animal and score in your own mind by comparison which one comes closest to a standard. Uh, I think you'll find too many times people, like in Dutch, uh, they might see this animal with a low, low uh, let's say just a low cheek marking like that. You know, and it looks bad. It looks bad. But you know, there's only six points on that whole cheek, and you can only cut it three or four points for that. But they might throw it off the class way down low, even though it's perfect everywhere else. They'll pick on some little thing and see it, and it looks bad, and mentally they say, oh, boy, I can't stand that, and it's gone. It's a personal preference kind of thing.